Welcome to the lab. 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 Come on and cook with me. GG's gluten free. Bake with me. GG's gluten free. Grill with me. GG's gluten free. Eat with me. Okay, guys, we are all trying to build our immune system, or for those of us who have our uh, good immune system, we're trying to keep it that way. So today, guys, I am going to show you how to prepare your own sea moss at the house, guys. The first thing we're going to do is just give you the three things that you need to do. So all you need is your sea moss, okay? airtight containers to keep it in and you need distilled water please do not use tap water but first and foremost you've got to know where to purchase the type of sea moss to purchase so if you want to get the best what you need to do is make sure it's organic and guys make sure make sure it's made in the usa that's right, guys, because if you get it outside of the U.S., most of the time it's going to be farm-raised, mass-produced, very trashy. So you want a good, clean batch. Of course, the first step, guys, will be to rinse it before you start to do anything. So that's the first step. So I will show you what I'm going to do. So it's simple. It's easy. And guys... Mines is made in the U.S. is made is made in off the coast of Maine from Maine seaweed. That's right, you heard me right. Oh, sea moss, guys, is the ticket to good immunity. That's right, good immunity equals sea moss, and you can use this sea moss in just about anything that you cook, or yeah, if you've cooked it or a, a smoothie. Uh, coffee, whatever you want to place it, tea, yogurt, hey, it's pudding, it's a great additive. You might not want to eat it alone, however, it's suggested that you add it to something. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one cup, one cup, and we're going to add it to our bowl, and then we're going to cover it with water and let it soak and then we're going to come back and we're going to strain it okay i'm only going to make one batch at a time guys it is very very beneficial but you don't want to waste it right it can stay in the fridge up to one month it can stay in the freezer for three months guys yeah and these flakes as long as you keep them closed Seal tight in a cool, dry place. They're good, guys. So, yeah. So, this is one cup. So, we're adding it here to the bowl. One cup. And then we're going to add water to it. We're going to go on and add a cup of water. Because we're going to soak it for 20 minutes. Just 20 minutes just to rinse it, guys. We want to rinse it and get any... garbage or rubbish that might be in it we want to get that out before we blend it it is a such an easy process so we're gonna let this soak guys for 20 minutes we're gonna strain it and then we're gonna start the process it's super easy it's affordable guys as you can see i purchased it at my international farmers market guys and this container um is um it's not even a pound but it's it's 15.99 a pound and i purchased this for six dollars and 56 cents so i didn't have to get anything shipped to me and worry about shipping and handling and, and, and online you find the prices at 32 dollars and 19 dollars and this that and the third i will get two batches out of this for six dollars and 50 cents 
$6.50, guys. And I always have um, distilled water and spring water around the house. So we're going to let this soak. I'm going to rinse it, strain it, and then we're going to get right to it. You need a high-powered blender, guys. Don't try to do it with a cheap blender. I'm telling you now, you're going to be mad. Hey. Hey, 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 we want to get in front of our health. Yes, we do a lot of cooking. We do a lot of eating, but we want to build our immune system. We are in the middle of flu season, guys, and everything else. So guess what? Let's build our immune system together. When we come back, we're going to get right to it. We're going to strain it, and then we're going to go right over into the blender. Okay, guys, so we are back. That's right. We are back with our sea moss, and now we are going to strain it, guys. And while we're straining it, we can have a little conversation. If we can have a little conversation about the benefits, guys, it's packed with so many vitamins, nutrients, and minerals, guys. Vitamin K, vitamin C magnesium guys just to name a few so guys you can get it all in one and what you can do is guys you can add this to your smoothies you can make it a whole meal that's right you can take um two teaspoons or one fourth of a cup and add it to your smoothies you can do any flavor you desire guys any flavor and you could be building your immune system having a great treat having a something healthy all at the same time and yes it's vegan and it's also naturally gluten free i know you see it i know that you see it you see how clean it is you see the body that's forming already because of the distilled water i know you see it if you are on the alkaline diet, guys, this is perfect. That's right. So now we're going to add this to the blender along with our water. You add the water slowly. You want to add it slowly. And if for some reason you feel like you need to rinse it again, you can always do so. But I believe this is fine. I let it soak for 20 minutes. Just 20 minutes. That was enough. That's recommended, guys. Because guess what? We have the best. We have the organic. That's right. Off the coast of Maine. That's right. Made in the USA. You see that? So we just got it right over in there. That's it. Now we're going to add our water. Once we add our water, guys, you best to believe we will be almost there. But guess what? You have to be patient because you gotta let it put. You gotta put it in the fridge for 12 hours. But I would prefer that you put it in there overnight. Overnight, yeah. So that's one cup. We're gonna do one cup first, and then we're gonna go back with a second cup. So we're gonna blend it. We're gonna blend it. You need a, a good blender, guys, like a, a ninja, a neutral bullet. Okay, it's time to blend. So the idea is for the moss to puree. So at this point, you can add more water, more water. That's right. You always test your product, right? You always want to test it. So that's why I say do one cup of water in the beginning. So it's not the most attractive drink that you will make, but once you Blend it and get it all ready, refrigerated. It turns into a gel. You can add it to your mango smoothies, strawberry smoothies, you name it.
Okay guys, since this is my first time making it using the flakes, I added an extra step. So what you do is, like I said, you rinse it, you rinse it first, rinse it, and then let it soak for like 20 minutes. After you do that, you then add your two cups of water to your flakes. Then I blended it. Yep, I have an extra step. I blended it once. And then I'm about to add it to my jar. I'm going to refrigerate it for eight hours. And then I'm going to blend it a second time. But guys, I know you see it. I know you see it. It's perfectly eight ounces, guys. Guess what? I, you know I'm going to scrape the bottom, though. So it's pretty perfect, though. So we are going to allow this to gel, set some set in the fridge for at least eight hours and then we're gonna blend it again you heard me right so when we come back we will be blending it again remember this is to build your immune system so be patient okay guys so we have refrigerated our sea moss flakes guys for eight hours that's right so now we are going to give them the final blend and then refrigerate them again oh yes it's a process but it is one that you will be thoroughly happy with i know you see how thick it is it's already thickening up yes it is and now it's good and soft and we can blend it really really good and then we're going to place it in a jar and we're going to let it we're going to refrigerate it again overnight. That's right. It's a process, guys. So this is part, you can say, part 1A of this process. So now we're going to read it. And then we'll be back. Okay, guys, so we still have some flakes in there. That's all right, though, because we're going to strain it out. We're going to strain this, and then we're going to add some more water. But as you can see, the sea moss is taking shape, guys. I know you see it. I know that you see it, and you know I'm not going to waste any. We're going to get all of this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're going to get out of that, con that one $6 container, $6.50 container, we're going to get two batches of sea moss, guys. You cannot beat that. You cannot beat that. So we're going to strain it. It's going to take a little bit. It's going to take a little bit, but guess what? It's going to be good. It's really thick. I probably can add some more water yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add some more water let's add some more water that might make it easier to strain yeah mm -hmm. like i thought see it because we don't want those extra flakes that's just my observation of it you might not mind, because especially if you're using it in a smoothie. You got to still blend again, so those flakes wouldn't be a big issue. But yeah, we're going to strain it, guys. We're going to add it to our container, and we're going to refrigerate it again and let it get to the point of gel. I know you see it. I know you see the gel. I know that you see it. It's there. It's there, guys. When we come back, we'll be adding it to our jar for the final refrigeration, guys. And this next time, you only have to refrigerate it for like one hour. If you prefer overnight, that's fine as well. Okay, guys, we have strained and this is what we have. And guys, yes, 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 just perfect, just perfect. If you have a little flakes left behind, no big deal because we're going to be using it basically in smoothies anyway. 
smoothies and drinks and we might make a pudding you just never know you can't really taste it so we're gonna put it back in the fridge guys and that is it i know you see it i know that you see it so and we're gonna also keep the leftover flakes i know you see them waste not want not guys oh no we're gonna have we're gonna have enough sea moss to last us for a couple weeks that's right we're gonna add just a tad bit of water to it and let it swell and guys that is it guys packed with zinc calcium vitamin c magnesium guys you cannot beat this and if you're doing smoothies this is gonna be perfect guys made in the usa off the coast of maine iris sea moss guys i know you see it we want to build and keep our immune system very very strong iris moss guys i know you see it next time cook with me eat with me Gigi's gluten free welcome to the lab Welcome to the lab with TG. Come cook with me. Come eat with me. Bake and grill with me. Comment down below and keep it real with me. Yeah, everything on the menu is gluten free. Please like, share, and subscribe for free. Everything on the menu is gluten free. Please like, share, and subscribe.